sorting two-dimensional lists in Python. Now in Python, here we go, here's a two-dimensional list which is great and normally if you're sorting a one-dimensional list in Python it will just sort it by either alphabetical or if it's an integer numerical order uh, which is fine but a lot of the time with two-dimensional lists you might not want to be sorting by the first item in a list so let's have a look at this first list here if we do let's just do people dot sort and then for p in people print p and we'll print the first item we'll just print then oh no we've got to print the whole thing there we go let's have a look here you go and as you can see here if we just do a standard sort on the people list it sorted it by the first item in that sub list there you go so uh, B, H, L, M, M, and then you can see M, G, M, A, G, M, A, R. So it's sorted it by the first item. But sometimes we don't want to sort it by the first item, especially in things where um, a game where you want to display the high score list, then you'd want to sort by the highest score rather than their name. So we need to be a little bit, we need to do some, one more line, and we need to use something, a clever little thing called a lambda function. And there you go. And I'm just going to paste this in. There we go. And this time, instead of sorting by the first item, we need to use a lambda function here. Don't worry about how it works. Uh, all you need to know is that it works. If you want to look up lambda functions and go research them, by all means. But you don't have to. All you need to know is, if you want to sort it by the second item, then you need to use this function. There we go. Now, if your array had three items in it, I can't really do this, but there you go. If you see there, there's an array there with three items, and you want it to sort by the third column, then you'd have to change x1 to x2. There you go. It probably won't work because here you go. Here it's just complaining that uh, these other lists here, the marge list, doesn't have three items. So let's add some more numbers in there. Actually, there we go. Let's put. Let's add some. Or I don't know what these stand for, but. Let's just add some more numbers. There we go. And it's done it now. There you go. Oh, has it? Uh, forward, 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 forward. There we go. And it's now sorted it by the third item rather than the second or the third, first. There you go. Nice and easy. And obviously, if you wanted to display it the other way up, so if it was a high score list, let's say these these here uh, was a high score. These This is a high score list and this is Margie's score is 8 and you want to display it the other way around then do your sort first and then just do P, just reverse the list and it will reverse the whole thing and now you could print, print I, I scores for example doesn't really work with this example but this but you can get the uh, you can get the gist there you go and you can print a high score list there we go Marge has, there we go, just like that. And it'll print it. In fact, actually, what I'll do here is let's go for name, age, score. There we go. And we'll print name, comma, score. There you go. That looks a bit prettier, doesn't it? There you go. So we can print a high score there. If you didn't want the other bits of data, you could just do it like that. High scores. And Marge got eight, Lisa, and then Bart, then there you go. Perfect. There you go.